what I have here now is a three-speed uh, synchronized orbital transmission. This is also a sequential transmission because it requires that you have to pass through gears in order. You can't just skip over from one to three. You have to go through one, two, three. I got this idea from adding uh, a middle gear to my original orbital design um, that had a three to one ratio or a one to three ratio depending on how you flip this lever on the back portion, portion back here. So what I decided to do was try to add a middle gear, which would have been at an even one-to-one -one ratio. So that's what I added in this here with this, this uh, assembly of gears. If you notice, they're all the same tooth. So when this is engaged like this, everything is at a one-to-one -one ratio. And you can see that the wheel turns uh, at the same rate that my crank turns. So this would be in first gear, low which goes, it requires me to turn the crank three times for every one revolution of the wheel. I can pop it in the middle now and engage the middle gear, which is a one-to-one. -one. And then I can flip it this way and have the high-speed gear, which is at a one-to-three. It spins the wheel three times for every one time on the crank. And the beauty of this whole design is, is that while it's engaged in any one uh, gear there aren't any dead gears or meaning that there aren't any gears that are forced to move uh, turning nothing um, and dead gears so that works out really well thanks